you back. Hey, where were you? Oh, uh, I went out. So I think I might have a theory about what's going on. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what if Mordecai is a tulpa? Tulpa? Yeah, a, uh, a Tibetan thought form. Yeah, no, I know what a tulpa is. I want you to get dressed. I'm go grab something to eat. incident in Tibet in 1915. A group of monks visualize a golem in their heads. They meditate on it so hard, they bring the thing to life out of thin air. So? That was 20 monks. Imagine what 10,000 web servers could do. I mean, Craig starts the story about Mordecai, then it spreads, goes online. Now there are countless people all believing in the bastard. Okay, wait a second. You're trying to tell me that just because people believe in Mordecai, he's real? I don't know, maybe. People believe in Santa Claus. How come I'm not getting hooked up every Christmas? Because you're a bad person. And because of this. That's a Tibetan spirit sigil on the wall of the house. Craig said they were painting symbols from a theology textbook. I bet you they painted this not even knowing what it was. Now, that sigil has been used for centuries, concentrating meditative thoughts like a magnifying glass. So people are on the Hellhounds website, staring at the symbol, thinking about Mordecai. I mean, I don't know but it might be enough to bring a toll to the life. Would explain why it keeps changing. Right. As the legend changes, people think different things, so Mordecai himself changes. Like a game of telephone. That would also explain why the rock's all didn't work. Yeah, because he's not a traditional spirit, per se. Yeah. Okay, so why don't we just uh, get this spirit sigil thingy off the wall and off the website? Well, it's not that simple. You see, once tulpas are creative, they take on a life of their own. Great. All right, so if he really is a thought form... How the hell are we supposed to kill an idea? Well, it's not going to be easy with these guys helping us. Check out their home page. Since they posted the video, the number of hits have quadrupled in the last day alone. Huh. We got an idea. Come on. Where are we going? We need to find a copy store. Man, I think I'm allergic to our soap or something. <laughs> you did this? You're a friggin' jerk. 